Hey guys, it's your boy Mark back with another video. Um, first webcam video in like forever. Um, uh, if you guys couldn't tell by the title, this is me, Mark Sanders himself. I'm even going to put in the title, Mark Sanders explains the ending of Batman Reborn. <laughs> uh, yeah, I know I sound vain for putting it like that, but whatever. Um, as you guys know, uh, this is a movie, uh, this is, I'm sorry, not a movie, but this is a video that I've been wanting to do for um, uh, a few days now. Actually, much longer than a few days, uh, months actually, but I recently got a comment on one of my videos um, about Memory Born, um, and it kind of made me want to do an explanation video. Like, right now, I mean. I mean, I thought about doing this, like, near... The one year anniversary of Family Reborn, which isn't until July, which is crazy because it feels like Family Reborn's been out for so long already. Um, but, you know, I guess that comment gives me reason to do it now, you know? So, yeah, lucky you guys. Um, so, yeah, Family Reborn. Um, very proud of this movie, of course. Uh, if you guys haven't seen it, go watch it. It's on my channel, it's free. Two and a half hours long. I'm very proud of it, of course. But I'm going to explain the ending. Oh, wait, if you haven't seen Baron Reborn, um, you shouldn't be watching this video because obviously I'm going to be talking about the ending. You know, um, the title pretty much gave that away, you know. But, you know, this video is completely improvised. Uh, I don't know if this is coming out good. Uh, this is what pisses me off, man, when I, when I do videos like this. How oh, I just, you know, screw up and stuff, and I don't know what to say exactly. Uh, but I'm doing my best. I'm doing, I'm, I'm doing my best. All right, and I'm trying. Okay, I'm trying. Um, so I got a comment, you know, on a recent video of mine saying that at the end of Batman Reborn, uh, Robin just randomly decided. To get himself blown up. And that is absolutely not true. He did not just randomly decide to blow him up, okay? Um, what he was doing was he was sacrificing himself. Okay? If you guys don't remember, at the end of Batman Reborn, um, I'm going to be talking about other parts of the ending too, not just uh, this part with uh, Jason Todd getting blown up. Um, but, um, so after Batman and Robin had apprehended the Joker at Ace Chemicals, uh, all three of them left and they were going to get out of Bloodhaven because it was just about to blow. Um, but Commissioner Gordon came down in the helicopter. He said that there were only two more spots, uh, two more spots left in the helicopter. Gordon himself and Nightwing had taken up uh, two spots already. And there were three of them there. You know, it was Batman himself, the Joker, and of course, Robin. And, um, and it was a really tough and hard moment for anybody during that scene in the film, you know any of the characters in that scene in the film because it was right about to blow you really didn't have time to think but you had to do such a hard decision right then and there okay and before we get into Robin Jason Todd I'll say this Batman despite everything the Joker has done and of course you know how much he cares about Jason Todd he would have sacrificed himself. He would have had himself be the one to stay in Bloodhaven to let Jason Todd and the Joker escape in the helicopter. He would have. It's what Batman does. He's a hero. So is Jason Todd. And now we're going to go to him, Jason Todd. Behind Bruce's back, uh took that decision away from Bruce. He locked himself in Ace Chemicals so that Bruce 
and even the Joker could go into their helicopter and escape Bloodhaven before it exploded. That's what happened. He sacrificed himself so that Bruce and um, the Joker could live. You know, they don't trade lives. Batman doesn't trade lives. Robin doesn't trade lives. Because he's a hero. You know? And, you know, as, as much as Bruce hated it, he had to go. You know, there was no time to argue and try and get Jason tied out or try to make some kind of compromise. He had to leave. Gordon made that clear when he said, Bruce, we have to go. Okay, then they fly from the helicopter and Jason Todd takes off his mask because the man under the mask is who he is, you know, he is Jason Todd, you know, and he sacrificed himself, you know, so that Bruce, Robin, Nightwing, and the Joker, and Gordon could live. And, and, yeah, that explains that, you know, so 100%, um, Jason Todd didn't randomly decide, that's the explanation. It would have been Bruce Wayne, Bruce Wayne would have sacrificed himself, but just to make it clear one more time, uh, Jason Todd made the decision himself. And sacrifice himself. And he did say, I'm doing something with my life. That was the last thing he said to Bruce before Bruce had to go. Because if you guys don't remember early in the film, uh, when uh, when uh, Bruce Wayne uh, comes home uh, from the meeting with uh, uh, John Daggett and uh, Earl, um, he, he finds uh, Jason having beat up and finds out that he was beating up criminals. And that's why uh, Bruce Wayne knew um, that was his new Robin as well, because he knew he could fight. That was the reason for that scene, you know. And that was the reason for the restaurant scene too. Uh, along with uh, Bruce Wayne hearing about the impact that the Batman's absence has had. Um, and so that Jason Todd could, behind Bruce's back, go out fight criminals. You know, that's why he was like, you're, you're my new Robin, basically. You know, and uh, I'm a little bit lost right now. I feel like I was going a little bit overly complicated, and I'm sorry. Uh, but I think I got it there. Oh yeah, and I got it now. And that's when Bruce said... I want you to do something with your life, Jason, but not this, not this. And that, and when Jason Todd uh, in Ace Chemicals said to Bruce, um, I'm doing something with my life, that was a throwback to that. That scene where they sat down and talked, Bruce in his tuxedo, Jason Todd having been beat up early that night. All right. That is, that's me explaining the ending of Baron and Um, well, that part of the ending. Alright. So now we go on to another part of the ending, and that has to do with Deadshot. Why did Deadshot, um, go to Bloodhaven? Uh, and just to kill himself? He knew, he knew that Bruce, uh, he knew that Batman... Uh, was going to um, save his wife and child. He knew that. But remember, when he talked to Bruce the, f uh, the first time, when he visited him in uh, Blackgate Prison, um, he did say that um, his wife and daughter won't let him see won't let him see them again. You know, they were done with Deadshot, and his family was the only thing that Deadshot loved. You know, so um, 
he went to Bloodhaven. He knew it was going to blow up, and that's when he practically committed suicide. So, um, so you can say that Deadshot did decide to blow himself up, but he didn't randomly decide to blow himself up, you know? Uh, not like what you were saying, um, the guy who commented that. Um, and Deadshot, he put on the mask um, right after he said goodbye to his family on the picture. Because Deadshot was all he was now. And Deadshot, at the same time as Jason Todd did, well, practically the same time, uh, Deadshot died. Uh, just before Jason Todd did, as I showed in the film. Um, you know, Deadshot was all he was at that point. And he knew his family was saved, and that was it for him. So Deadshot, he died. There was nothing else left for him in the world. And yeah, Deadshot is permanently dead, guys. I don't ever plan on bringing Deadshot back. In this series, um, in this franchise, um, I can't really say the same about Jason Todd, but that's uh, another story for another day. Um, so yeah, that explains why Deadshot. Um, I've, so I've explained uh, why Jason Todd sacrificed himself, and I also explained uh, why um, why Deadshot uh, practically killed himself. Um, yeah. So, uh, what was the next part I was going to explain? Um, the, I guess the very end of the film would be the last thing I explain. And, uh, yeah, um, yeah, uh, Falcone, uh, played by Harvey Keitel, um, yeah, he burned down Bruce Wayne's, uh, uh mansion. He, bur he burned down Wayne Manor. Um, and yeah, and Bruce said uh, that he he thinks he'll get a penthouse. And yes, Bruce will get a penthouse. Uh, I, I'm not sure if I plan on having Wayne Manor get rebuilt in the future. Um, because I can't wait to take uh, the headquarters of uh, Bruce Wayne and Alfred, etc. to another place in the future, in future installments of this franchise. Um, because yes, guys, there will be a sequel to Batman Reborn. Not gonna be for a while though, because I have lots of other projects, and I feel like I have to properly build up to that, you know. Um, but uh, yeah, the very end of the film, uh, with uh, Batman and uh, Batman and Commissioner Gordon, they were talking on the rooftop. And uh, Gordon was like, um, and Bam was talking about, you know, if anything like this ever happens again, we'll fight with everything we have. And Gordon, he said to Bru he said to Batman, um, what did he say to Batman? Um, if that day ever comes, uh, can the city count on you or something like that? Um, and that was the final line of the movie. We just see a, a shot of Batman standing on the rooftop, and then it cuts to black, and the credits roll. I I, I imagine that is kind of like a, um, oh you know it man, type of thing. So it's like Batman didn't have to say anything, because you know, you know, you know I I will, you know you know the city can count on me. That's that's what I was, that's what I was kind of going for with the very last shot of the film. And, uh, I kind of imagined it like, uh, the ending of X-Men Days of Future Past, how after Mystique disguised as, um, Stryker, um, was smirking, after she said, uh, disguised as Stryker, of course, um, you leave him to me or something like that, then she just smiled, uh, I was, I was going, I was kind of going for that type of final shot, and... Yeah, like, like, of course, Gordon. Um, of course, I, as in Batman, I, of course, the city can count on me. You know, we'll fight with everything we have, 
and yeah that's yeah that's that's yeah that's, that's it really uh, I thought I would that would end up being a little bit deeper when I got into it but whatever so yeah that's me explaining the ending of Bam Reborn guys uh, all the several points of the ending um, you know with uh, explaining why Jason Todd uh, sacrificed um, explaining why Deadshot uh, killed himself explaining uh, the very final the very final shot of the film um, basically and yeah um, I definitely probably will do more types of videos like these for my work um, uh, in the future if you guys like this one a lot, uh, I probably will do that type of thing, you know. So, yep, that's my video, guys. Uh, it is March 30th, 2019, 9.36am New Zealand time as I'm filming this. Um, ugh, itchy. So, yep, that's me explaining it, guys. Uh... I feel, I feel like I, I kind of want to get, I kind of want to talk about the other things, like, I, I, that, that should probably be for another video, though, so, yeah, I hope you, hope you guys enjoyed this, um, this, uh, uh, explaining the ending of Bang Ring Bond. Mark Sanders, the director, writer, producer, and star of Bang Ring Bond, explaining it to you. So, thanks for watching, guys. I plan on doing more videos uh, now. Now that I got this new laptop, uh, the old computer is uh, in the shop right now. Hopefully, it can get fixed, and then I can uh, get back to my movie legacy. So, uh, yeah, guys. So thanks for watching, and peace out.